Hi, I'm Gary Hall Sr. from the Race Club. I'd like to welcome you back to our secret tip of the week. For the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the importance of legs in swimming, and we're going to continue with the, the third function of the legs this week, which is a stabilizing force. And what do I mean by that? Well, when we rotate the body in swimming, or counter-rotate the body, as we initiate the pull, the counter-rotation of the body creates a force out of our own motion that enables us to get more power out of the pull or more distance per stroke. And we actually complete that rotation with our strongest kick of the six beat kick. And so by making that kick, which actually goes because of the rotation to the side a little bit, we're actually extending that counter force and enabling us to get more power out of the end of our pull. So the third function of the legs is to create a longer and better ability to get power out of our pull and enable us to swim faster. The ability to create a strong stabilizing force begins with having a strong core and having strong legs. It is the rotation or the counter rotation of the body and the strength of the kick that creates this force that enables us to pull strong. Sabir Muhammad is using some of our favorite core strengthening exercise here. The ab wheel extends out fully, pulls it back in. The throwback with the medicine ball uses both the core and the upper body. First with two hands, trying to throw the ball quickly back. And then second with one hand with a 10 pound med ball creating balance and strengthening the core at the same time. With the hands raised over the shoulders, a straight leg kick can be a great way to strengthen your core and ab muscles. Also strengthening the leg muscles. The knee high jump is another way to build strong legs, lifting the arms simultaneously with each jump. One way to appreciate how important the legs are to create the stabilizing force which enables us to pull stronger and swim faster is to eliminate the legs. With this band around his ankles, Daniel Hong swims and you notice he cannot get much power out of each stroke. Underwater you see the legs are dragging, there's no lift, his body position is poor, and because he has no kick or substantial rotation of the body, there's very little counter force to create power. Contrast that with one of America's and the world's greatest sprinters, Nathan Adrian, who does a very simple drill here where he kicks on his side. One of the most important features of using legs is learning to kick to your side. In the middle of the pool, he takes a single arm stroke whereby he feels a tremendous amount of power through the counter rotation of his body and through the kick. Here he holds a very streamlined position into the wall with a very strong kick. Nico Messer demonstrates one of our favorite drills for kicking on your side. Holding the head in the down position, getting into the vertical position, kicking to one side, while so simultaneously holding the hand out in front, putting downward pressure on a pull buoy. This enables you to give the sensation of pushing down, but get, gets one into a vertical position while learning to kick on your side. Once again, we see Nathan Adrian using a six kick, one stroke drill. Look at the tremendous power that he generates as he comes over the top with his recovering arm, but what happens underneath the water is most important. Here you can see underwater as Nathan makes a tremendous counter rotation, a tough kick that enables him to generate a lot of power. Here I use the same drill that Nathan does, but this time I put a paddle on one hand and a fin on the opposite hand. The fin and the paddle enable me to feel more pressure and more power in this counter rotation and the final kick than without it. It's a great way to get the sensation of power that you can develop from using a proper rotation and a proper kick in the freestyle. Same drill from above, using a hand paddle on one side 
and fin on the other. As I swim without the paddles or the fins, you can see how the legs change directions, first rotating to the left and then to the right. You can see that very little of the kick is actually straight up and down, that most of the kick occurs to the side and generates this tremendous force. Perhaps the best way to see that is from behind. I want you to notice at the end of my pull how that simultaneously occurs with the most the strongest and the most powerful kick of the three kicks in each pull. Tremendous ankle flexibility, a quick kick, a rotation of the leg and the core translates into a fast swim.